Hey there WordPress community! Today I'm going to introduce you to the best plugin that will allow you to create the most attractive and engaging photo galleries on your website. So let's not lose time and just dive right into it. Ta-da! Are you ready? And our plugin's name is WP Modula and here is what you can do with it. You can create albums, video galleries, sliders, you can have some private albums and set password protection there and you can also set some filters for your own users. And all this is for non-technical users so it does not require you any uh, kind of knowledge, high technical knowledge, so don't worry about this. Um, and also since most galleries look the same, you you can stand out in the crowd by making great use of this uh, layout grids that uh, Modula has, such as the masonry or the columns uh, view, or this custom grid where you are free to change the size, the shape, the position of your photo in the album, and this automatic layouts that. Um, you are again free to change yourself. Um, so join these many users who are very satisfied with Modula and they constantly use it. And also don't forget that they've got this Black Friday sales um, and 40% off on their pricing plans. So hurry up to get one for yourself. Uh, and another great platform that they've created is this Modula Gallery. Uh, it is a public group. I will attach the link in the description below. Uh, and you can join this group as a user and have your contribution in the development of Modula. So the creators constantly ask for feedback or anything that's missing in Modula. So you can have your contribution here and maybe your suggestion will appear on Modula one day. Um, and also it's a um, very great user to user platform so maybe you can also give some suggestions to each other. I think it's a great platform. Um, but for now, let's go to our WordPress dashboard and test the features that Modula offers in action. So right now I'm on my WordPress dashboard and I've already installed and activated WP Modula and I'm using its free version which is pretty generous itself and you can make great use of its free features. Um, so let's get started with uh, creating our first gallery together. So you'll simply need to click here. First of all, let's title it. I will say home design. And from here, uh, let's select um, a couple of photos from our gallery. Mm -hmm, I think that's enough. And uh, I would like to mention that this bar has a drag and drop functionality. So you can easily, first of all, shuffle the places of the photos and choose the order that you want quite easily. You do not need to delete them, add a new one. So it's pretty simple. Uh, so let's get started with the gallery types, most important ones. Um, so here you've got this three options in a free version is the creative gallery mode, uh, the custom grids, my favorite one, because here you are free uh, to custom the size, the um, shape, the position of your photos, however you want to uh, pull them together. And if here, uh, there is this uh, great feature here, if you enable this uh, helper grid, then you can also see the suggestion that it makes, how you can position your photos, how if you add new ones, how they will uh, be in the uh, gallery. It's a very helpful feature. And then this Mason review. So for this custom read, uh, you can um, modify the gutter, which is the distance between your photos. So if you want to make them uh, closer to each other, here you can see, you can uh, play around with this. Let's stick to five. I think it's great. And from this part, you can also choose the distance between the uh, borders of your gallery. So you can just uh, play around and see which one uh, matches the look and feel of your website. And then here you can also customize the size of your image, starting from thumbnail, medium, large, to some other options that we've got here. This light box and link section allows us to choose where we want our image to be open in. So for example, if we have no links or no other pages that we want to direct our users when clicking on our image, then we can stick to this no link option. But if we have a link uh, connected to our image, uh, if we want to add it to our image, then we need to stick to this one. And if we have another attachment page, uh, for example, if our users need to go to another page to download that specific image 
from our gallery we can choose that option as well and also we can choose this uh, open images and a light box option let's stick to this one uh, and if we want to have some navigation arrows uh, when the users uh, try to click on our images then we can also enable this uh, let's now go to this uh, hover effect section uh, so here in this um, free option we've got this two uh, interesting options here uh, the currently active one is uh, this uh, puff robo uh, so let's stick to this one and we can also choose a cursor um, icon from here uh, in the free version we've got this pointer or magnifying glass I think I will stick to this magnifying glass uh, and then let's also go to this loading effects so if you have want to create some zoom in zoom out effect uh, then you can also play around with this uh, scale so here you can see if you want to have a zoom in effect then you need to um, go below a um, hundred so let's do it 75 uh, and if you leave it to 100 then there will be no um, zoom effects uh, and then if you want to load in view you can enable this feature as well uh, so remember that our hover effect uh, here we've got some captions then we can go to captions and here we can um, choose uh, and also make some customization to it so if for example if we want to hide our title we can definitely do that or if we want to hide our caption uh, but we can also similarly choose some uh, uh, design and uh, font options here font sizes font style um, okay so for our photos I think I will stick to this gray option and then our font size let's make it a bit uh, bigger and our, our mobile caption font size let's make it 12 so uh, I would like to mention that uh, Modula is very um, responsive uh, both for mobile devices and any other electronic devices so you just uh, do not need to worry about it um, and then also let's go to the social and here if we enable the social buttons uh, here in, in this hover effects you can see that we've got uh, examples of social icons we can choose which ones we want to display so let's uh, say I want to display Facebook WhatsApp LinkedIn and Pinterest as well and we can also choose colors for them I will stick to um, white and that's pretty much it let's now go see the end result to see the end result you will simply need to head to gallery section here and here you will find all the galleries that you have created and in front of them you will find the respective shortcuts that you will simply need to copy and then go to pages add a new one and paste it here as a shortcut. So let's just also name it Home Design Gallery, let's say. And then let's paste it as a shortcut and hit the publish button and view our page. And you can see, wow. It's really good. We did the zoom in effect, so it appeared right like that. Here you can see the social icons that we have chose. Here you can see this light box effect. And if you do not like uh, your gallery after all, then you can hit this edit gallery right from the front end and you will be appeared uh, in your back end and you will be able to make all the changes here. That's it about WP Modula for today, the plugin that will become your go-to when creating photo galleries on your websites. And if you got any questions concerning it, don't forget to drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to not miss out any of our upcoming videos. See you next time. Bye.